Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and Gemini Rising weekly and Lenormand Tarot reading for August 20th to August 26, 2018. So let's go first to the Tarot reading and the first position of the Tarot spread represents the topic for the Gemini's week. The second position represents the core of the situation here. Then the third position uh, that shows up the uh, difficulties that Gemini has to uh, has to overcome for that particular week, and the last card represents uh, the guidance that Gemini should follow <clears throat> during this uh, particular week. So let's see what you got here. Now the first card that will be the Page of Wands. So this week is going to be uh, the topic for the week or what you are going to be involved in here is um, additional activities uh, that you will uh, try to find a way to kind of participate in. Now the page of wands it is a um, uh, it, it is regarding uh, when uh, one wants to kind of like sprue their environment in a sense of relationship and career where one wants to try new things. Uh, one wants to be um, involved into a, a new enterprises in which one does not have any participation until now whatsoever. Now the Page of Wands, however, it's also a card where um, one could feel that it is oppressed by someone else, either by your partner or either by your boss into your career, um, by the uh, limitations that the situation has itself. For example, whatever you want to try out into your career could not be exactly fitting in the rules that the company is executing and following and same goes for your relationship what you want to try into your relationship you know may not be some something of liking of your uh, of your partner therefore you may find it difficult you know to exert that idea that you do have um, for the duration of the week and also the page it is about um, ideas all right so uh, no matter how um, immature your idea seems no matter how um, how little um, appreciation they have from uh, from the rest of the people around you that doesn't mean that those idea are uh, those ideas are stupid or those ideas are uh, you know Im immature uh, in general, but they worth exploring. So it's kind of like if even if you feel that you're a lonely voice in the desert, that doesn't mean that you should not continue shouting because eventually someone is going to listen. And now let's see the core of the situation here. That will be the King of Pentacles. So this card points that you have done your job thus far and right now you may find it, um, you may find that you have nothing else to do but you know to try to figure out a, a new ways to improve yourself in any case. Because the King of Pentacles it is about that. One is already consolidated, one already stabilized, the current positions, the current projects, you know, uh, you have done your work and you have fulfilled, you know, uh, your responsibilities into your career and into your relationship etc etc and you have reached to a point where there is nothing else to be done there you know I mean uh, the, the job is going on great or the job is um, you are involved into your career with the same activities over and over again now and same goes into your relationship and things may become a little bit more boring of, uh, of your liking and that's why <clears throat> during this particular week um, you may experience that urge uh, for you to kind of like uh, dapple your uh, your daily routine with some additional versatilities which are going to make it a little bit more interesting therefore uh, <clears throat> you may kind of face a certain opposition as I said from your boss or from your partner into your relationship or from a friend in general here as they may not be exactly prepared you know for uh, for your additional undertaking that you are going to share with them. <clears throat> also the King of Pentacles uh, resembles uh, a connections 
should I say that way, in, in a sense of that you it will be advisable here to bring some connections that you do have into the matter as well, which are going to help you, you know, to kind of like establish a, a better foundation here for whatever your new aims are. Then the next card will represent the challenges that you need to overcome here. This is going to be the Ace of Cups. So uh, Ace of Cups it is about joy and fulfillment and as a challenge it does look like that the week itself what you have to participate in because this here is just the idea of participation, your your wish to participate into something but the, um, but the Ace of Cups points that you will not have really the uh, the pure chance to do so um, and uh, and instead of that uh, you guys uh, um, Gemini's you will have to continue on going with the current which are already current undertakings during that particular week which are already consumed from a, a regard of happiness all right and now they're just like a, a machinery that you are um, that you are executing without even putting a second thought into your performance because you know to death you know what uh, what has to be done how needs to be done and you are simply doing it um, um, from a, a pure machination here and the uh, that particular card points that uh, it is it is unlikely you know that something will uh, will change into uh, into your environment, either your career or either your relationship here. Only, you know, the idea that uh, you do have for this new enterprises you want to exert into your career or relationship, it is what will keep up your spirit lifted and it is what will give you joy and something to look forward to into the future. So this week, for what it seems, is going to be, uh, from a regard of activity, very peaceful week, is going to be very ordinary week from your behalf where you are going to do what you're supposed to do you know without much of a, a difference there without much of a change as a matter of fact because we do have the ace of cups i don't believe that something is going to change but the more tenacious you are with your ideas here and the more pain in the ass for so um for lack of better expression you are in the, for your boss or for your uh, for your partner into into relationship or in general with the person that you want to execute that new uh, undertaking the more likely is that you're going to be given a, a green light here to kind of start doing what you really really want to do uh, for uh, <clears throat> for your future enterprises and the last card here um, resembles the um, the guidance that you should follow. Now we do have the Tree of Swords, which is a, a first of all, it's a card of healing and it is a, a card of overcoming negative thoughts. It is a card of overcoming um, a situation where you are uh, really cornered and uh, that could happen only through you speaking the pure truth into those people um, <clears throat> and when we talk about the pure truth politeness especially I know that in our world here in the Eastern world politeness it is not something we, re we, re um, we reside on uh, the politeness it is more um, common for the Western world where you don't say the things you know with their true names. Um, you for example say um, please and thank you that that is the second uh, every second word into one sentence you know etc etc we don't exert that particular um, <clears throat> that particular culture here in the in in the eastern uh, in the eastern world and the uh, tree of swords it is exactly that you know say the things with their true names here i mean when um when your boss doesn't allow you to do uh, what you find it lucrative, then you need to find a way to tell to your boss that they are stupid not doing it so, you know, and sometimes, especially with the Tree of Swords, this is the straight way, you know, you just say what you, what you think, that is, <clears throat> 
that is the meaning of the card and same goes for your relationship here what the what the point of the card is as a, a guidance is is that you should not keep slumbered negative thoughts that you do have regarding people and regarding situations but they have to be set on site so everybody knows what they stand and everybody knows you know what you think and so you don't feel um you don't feel yourself in a bad mood or uh, despondent as well by not saying what you have to say to those people. So it's all about revealing your true standpoint regarding your career, your um, your relationship as well, your friendships, etc., etc. So people can know, um, <clears throat> you know, how you fit in the grand scheme of things and what you truly. Um, worship and follow and, and wants to follow uh, for your um, re, uh, near future. And then let's see what the Lenormand has to say here. We do have the anchor with uh, the tower with the mountain. So uh, yeah, that week these cards are pointing that this week is going to be very busy for you. Now we do have here um, a hope on and long longevity of business and work because in this particular case the uh, the tower represents business and work. So you're going to be very busy working here upon a, a certain activity that currently was a delayed it was um, it was uh, obstructed by a certain thing but no longer and uh, probably this is why uh, you will not be allowed here to uh, kind of like exert your new ideas and to um, um, contribute for the um, enterprises which just came up into your mind uh, either career-wise or relationship-wise it is because a, a situation that it is currently undertaking and it is was um, set on how it is now placed back on stir and you have to attend into it and it will take a lot of work that is displayed here by the anchor card that it will really it will take efforts but it is something lucrative it is something that works um, <clears throat> pushing through and it will create a stability uh, for your behalf as well. So uh, that being said, Gemini's, this was your weekly tarot reading and Lenormand for August 20th to August 26, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.